up and welcome back to buy stuff next so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my Amazon tech favorites I'm super excited for this one I have a lot of good favorites a lot of good product recommendations there's about to be a lot of add to cart action happening get your fingers ready I also feel like this is kind of good timing because it's almost Father's Day, so there's some good gift inspo here for sure. But as always, just a quick little reminder, everything will be linked and listed down in the description box, like all the descriptions of everything I say and the links and whatever. So it's there for you as a little resource and a shopping guide and a little catalog. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Let's get into the video. Okay, so my first product, I'm picking one that's very giftable. I actually got this for my mom for Mother's Day a few years ago. So mom approved and it's also definitely good for dad too. What I'm talking about is right here, the Ember Mug. It's a temperature controlled mug and it is the coolest thing ever. It keeps your hot drinks hot. So basically you put your coffee, your tea, whatever in, and then there's a app on your phone and you use it to set the temperature that you want your drink to stay at. The mug's powers kick in and keeps your drink at that temperature. So cool. If you're like me and you're kind of just like a slow drinker, you just want your tea for the next like three hours, you want your coffee like basically all day sitting on your desk, this is the item for you. And it is really cute. It's like sleek. Ooh, we could do like ASMR. Hi guys. <laughs> Gotta get this. It's an incredible product. Linked below. Let's move on. Next up, we're talking my favorite headphones and I've got them right here. They're so cute. Oh, like I'm just, just a dream. I don't remember the exact color name, but I'll have that link below. These are the Beats Studio 3 noise canceling. They have the big like ear cuff, so it sits around your ear, not on your ear, and then it's super painful. So I wear these for hours when I'm editing videos and just listening to music, watching TV, and they don't hurt. They look so adorable. Very earmuffs vibes, but like cute earmuffs. The Bluetooth pairing works really, really well, and I just love these headphones. So, yeah. Okay, so next up, this product isn't like strictly tech, so don't come for me in the comments, but it, it definitely relates. It's my blue light glasses, and this one is upside down. I was an early adopter into the whole like blue light blockers thing. So I used to have the like straight up orange lens glasses. I looked crazy. Once they started making them with clear lenses, life changing. Basically the purpose of blue light blocking glasses is that it blocks the harmful blue light from your phone, computer, TV, any like screen. The issue with blue light is that it kind of tricks your brain into thinking that it's daylight. So that's kind of the reason why you're in bed scrolling your phone. Like, why am I not tired? Cause it's like basically staring into the sun for your brain. So ugh, not good, not good. All you gotta do is get these blue light glasses, slip them on and then it blocks all those harmful blue rays. Got so many reflections, I'm gonna take them off. But this is a must for basically everybody. And they're so cute. We got the tortoise shell, which I just had on. And then I've got these cute clear ones. Such techie vibes. I love these. Not all blue light glasses have super clear lenses. Some of them like definitely still have like a tint to them. So these two in particular I found are great. They look cute. They function well. They block blue light, but they don't have like an orange yellowish tint to the lens. So that's why I recommend these and they'll be linked below. Next. Next up, this is a product that I've showed on this channel multiple times because I'm just obsessed with it. So obviously that's why it makes the Amazon tech favorites because it's a favorite. My BB Instant Camera. This is the Fujifilm Instax Wide 300. It gives you that nice big print. Here, so like this is a picture that I took on the camera, just like a cute sunset with palm trees. And it's a really nice, big size, clear image. Like the fact that you get such a big picture makes it kind of worth it that the camera is kind of big. But if you don't really care about the size of the picture and you want a smaller camera, they have smaller ones too. Anytime I travel, I bring this with me. Many times when I hang out with my friends, I bring this with me. We just take like fun pictures together. And then there are some accessories that I have for it that I'm gonna share with you today. So this is the film that I get. It's from Fujifilm. And there are a lot of listings for this product on Amazon, but some are way better deals than others. So I'll have the best deals linked below. You don't have to like, lose money for no reason. That's just a little bit. And then here I've got my case for my camera. Anytime I take my camera out, I definitely have it in the case. Here, I'll slide it in for you right now. You just slide it in and the lens fits through right there. So it functions like that. And then you just slide the top over, close it magnetically. And then it's got this strap around it so you can just wear it over your shoulder, over your, around your neck, whatever. Keeps it nice and protected. I have dropped this camera with the case and it has it broken, so. Five stars. And then of course, once you take the pictures, you wanna like store them somewhere, have them displayed all cute. So I'll link down below some of my favorite photo albums that I like to have my like trip photos in. And then for any like particularly special pictures, I put them in a cute frame in my room. So I'll have that all down below. Okay, I think that was kind of all the accessories for the camera, let's move on. Okay, next, this is something that I get complimented on by you guys a lot, my string light. 
My string lights that have always got shining in the background are from Amazon, so I'll have that down there for you too. The string lights come with a little cute remote. This is super useful. It has an on and off button that's honestly most used. Like if I'm in bed, I can just shut them off. I don't have to like get up and go to the actual outlet. And then there are actually eight different settings. So you can have like the lights like flashing, pulsing on and off. I'm boring, I just keep it on just like solid. And then there's a dimmer, so I use that a lot so I could have some mood lighting. It's a vibe, it's an aesthetic, it's a mood. Get yourself some string lights today. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about my Apple Watch for a little bit. So if you don't have one, you can still watch. We're not gonna kick you out, but if you're not interested, I guess just like tap and skip forward a little bit. So I've got two products for my Apple Watch. The first is this band. Let me undo it so you can actually see what it looks like. So it's just this like super cute, super chic brown leather. When I first got the watch, it comes with just a regular like plain black sports band. Got pretty sick of that, bored of it real quick. So I'll put that on when I'm going to like work out, play tennis, whatever. But if I'm wearing my watch with an outfit and I want it to look cute, I will always put this band on. Apple sells cute bands like this, but for a ton of money. So I went to Amazon, I found a really cute, really nice quality knockoff, and it's held up for years. It's gotten wet, it's gotten worn a ton, and it's still in great shape. I'll switch out my watch to see what it looks like on. There we go, it's on. You can see how adorable it looks. It looks cute with this outfit, it looks cute with every outfit. Get yourself a leather watch band today. And then my second little accessory for the watch is my charger stand. This like white disc is the Apple charger for the Apple watch. And then you can kind of like just feed the cord right through. So it keeps everything nice and in check and organized. I just like keep this on my nightstand and then you can just magnetically attach your watch there and it charges. Got that chic rose gold color. So it matches the aesthetics of the room and it keeps your watch just looking good and charged. Definitely nicer than just like a random cord hanging out on the table, I think. My Okay, that's it for the Apple Watch. Let's move on. Okay, next product is a product that I can't really hold up and show you because it's next to me and it's big and heavy. It is my record player. I'll include like a little B-roll footage of it right here, but it is an Audio-Technica record player. I got this as a gift from my parents. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. I've now grown a whole record collection. I store my records right up here. Again, can't show you them all, but here. I'll show you. All Lumineers, Cleopatra, that's what I was listening to last. I've got like a bunch of stuff. Mumford and Sons, Heim, Billie Eilish, Lana Del Rey, Train, Taylor Swift, Cold War Kids. A range, a range I would say. But there's something so nice about listening to music. I, I'm sounding like such a hipster right now, but there's something so nice about listening to music on vinyl. It just has that like raw quality to it. And it's like, you see it happening right in front of you. It's not like, oh, you just like click a button on your phone and it plays. Like you like see them. I don't know. It's so cool. I, I love it so much. If you've ever thought about getting a record player, take the plunge and do it. It's so much fun. And then you can kind of like collect records. It's a fun time. Definitely recommend picking up a record player or gifting it. Seriously, one of my favorite gifts I've ever gotten. What else we got? Oh, my phone case. This is my phone case. It's kind of, you can call it boring, but I love it. It's just like plain solid, like this gorgeous light blue periwinkle color. The thing is, it's a silicone case and I always used to get the Apple silicone cases. I always got like a light pink for years. But the issue was those cases fell apart so fast. The ones from Apple, the real brand cases. The corners would break off so easily and also would get kind of like stained over time. Not cute, not cute at all. So I thought, let me look on Amazon, see if there's something better out there. And I found this, this is a mirror case, silicone iPhone case, and the quality of it trumps the Apple one. Like it's unbelievable. Like I'm not gonna say that this is indestructible. Like this is my second one, the first one. The corner did rip on it, but it lasted way longer than the Apple one did. And also this one is $13 and the Apple one is $40. So someone explain that to me, I'll wait. Here, I'll show you from the front too. It just goes all the way around so it's nice and protected. The buttons are nice, they're soft. It's not like you gotta like jam your finger in there. You can get to the little like volume rocker easily. It's just a good case guys, okay? Go for it. And they've got other cute colors too. Oh, this is a good time to mention this one. Okay, so a couple years ago, I bought this giant box of lens cleaning wipes, which is very tech appropriate because I use it to clean all my tech. Let me open the box and show you what it actually looks like. I've used probably like half the box at this point and probably used like a hundred of them. It's all these little like two pounds packs, you can rip it down the middle and it's individually wrapped lens wipes. So I use this to clean my camera lenses and I also use it to clean down my phone because this is not damaging to phone screens. So it's really nice, especially with this little coronavirus pandemic that we just went through. I also use these to clean my glasses, my blue light glasses and my regular glasses. No one wants the smudgy. They're just fantastic. I don't really know what more to say about it, but I thought it was good for tech because I use it to clean my tech. Moving on. Okay, let me grab the next one. Ugh. 
Here it is. <laughs> not my backpack, that, that's not tech. But this is the famous backpack from my What's in My Backpack video, which I will totally link right there so you can check that out. Well, let's take a peek inside and look at our next product. Okay, you can already kind of see it's here peeking out at the back of my backpack. I will take it out for you. Ooh, okay, this is my laptop sleeve case thing. Yeah, it may not look so special to you, but this thing, lots of research to find. It checks all the boxes. So basically, I am a college student and I take my laptop to class with me every day when we had in-person classes. Like, I don't have school anymore. Girl, go with the times. So I didn't want to just like throw my laptop in my bag because then it's not so protected. If like put my bag down on the floor too hard, I could break it. Like that's not good. So I wanted a case, but I didn't want like a horizontal case like usual because then I'd have to get the whole case out of my bag to then take my laptop out. I wanted like a top loading case, if, if we can call it that. So I wanted a vertical laptop sleeve, like we got right here, thin and lightweight, so I could just put it in the back of my backpack, not add extra poundage to my back, but still just add that extra layer of protection for my laptop in my bag. And this thing works perfectly. It's so good. I have it like wrapped up like this. I'll unwrap it to show you, but it does have like a little like top flap and then a string and you can actually just like, ugh, I can't do it here. But like you can like tie it up like a little envelope, envelope, enunciate, but I always just keep it tied to the back like this. This way it's always nice and open on top and I could just slide my laptop in and out and have no worries. That was my one worry in life and now I don't have any more. So lucky me, lucky me. Okay, whew, put that away. Okay, just a couple more products left. We are wrapping up the list, sad, but also exciting. Next one that we're gonna talk about actually kind of sucks because I don't have it with me here, but I'll, I'll explain it. I'll, I'll paint the picture for you. Basically, this is my little backup camera, but one of the most annoying things when you are out taking pictures, shooting video is the stupid lens cap. What do you do when you take it off and then you wanna take pictures? Like, put it in your pocket if you have one, great, but usually I don't have pockets, so I'm just like stuck holding it or like asking my friend to hold it for me, which is so annoying. So they actually have the coolest product on Amazon. It's this little lens cap tether. There's like a sticky part that sticks to your lens cap and then an elastic that fits around the actual lens. So when you're ready to take a picture or shoot video, you can just unclick it and drop it because it's tethered and just like kind of hangs there. I hope I'm explaining it clear enough. I had one for my old camera. I was supposed to getting another one. But it's kind of lost in the mail, so bad timing. But it's really like the coolest little product and and anybody who has a camera with a lens cap, which is anyone who has a camera, you need it, you need it. And then the last little category that I wanna go through is actually my filming equipment, what I use to film my YouTube videos because I've been asked and honestly, it's all tech from Amazon, so it fits the video perfectly. I'll start with my microphone. I use a Blue Yeti USB microphone. So it just plugs right into my laptop and into the camera and it automatically overrides the camera's microphone. So it syncs up your audio perfectly. You don't have to like worry about like lining it up after in post. Great sound quality and I love that it's small and easy to use and it looks cute, so no complaints. For lighting, I have this a nice big ring light surrounding my camera. I love everything about this ring light. It's perfect. I just, ugh, it's so sad. I just looked up on Amazon and they don't carry this product anymore. The one that I have, and I don't know if I'm saying the brand name right, but it's from Neewer and it's an 18 inch tabletop ring light. I need a tabletop because I have a desk in front of me. I can't use like a to floor light because I don't have a floor there. But if your filming setup works for not a tabletop ring light, you could have just like the full one. They have that on Amazon. So I'll have that link down below for you. But if you have a table situation like me, currently they have a 10 inch ring light for tabletop, which you can hook your phone onto and you can also have your camera right in the middle. So a little bit smaller, but it'll probably work just the same, honestly. So you can kind of weigh your two options if you want a big ring light with the tall tripod or a smaller ring light that fits on a table. But I can attest to the company being absolutely great. Quality is awesome and it's adjustable. You can adjust the dimness on it. You can change out the plates to have a warmer, or cooler look to lights. Fully customizable, I love it. And now go into the actual camera that I'm using because that's what a lot of people have been waiting to hear. I use a Canon EOS 80D DSLR. That's the body of my camera. And I mean, it's great. I love the focusing on it. I love the different settings that it has. It's expensive, but this is an upgrade from a old camera that I used to use that had terrible focus. Just awful, awful, awful. I'm also actually a film student. So I use this camera for my short films and quality is great. Everything about it is just fantastic. And on to the lens, the expensive part of the deal. My lens, I got separate from my camera. Camera, I just did body only to like save some money there because I knew I wanted a separate lens. The lens that I went with is the Sigma 1835mm f1.8 art lens for Canon. Quite the name and quite the lens. 
I did a lot of research on this lens because I wanted something really good and it is really good. Quality is fantastic. I wanted something with zoom capabilities because not all lenses have that. This can zoom really well, which I'm not gonna do now and mess up my shot. But this also has really good focus, both manual and auto. That's something else that I was looking for. I've got like such a good filming setup here. I love it. And these are the products that I use. You guys have been asking and now you know. I think that's it on my list, but I'm gonna check. That was a lot of products. This is probably a long video. <laughs> Sorry. If you enjoyed, if you liked the products that I featured today, definitely scroll down and leave a big like for me because I'd really appreciate it. And it lets me know if you like this type of thing, you want me to do it again. You can also actually leave me a comment while you're down there to let me know what you thought. What other Amazon roundup you want to see next. I'm between Amazon fashion favorites and Amazon kind of like cheap product favorites. Maybe I could do like Amazon summer product favorites. Possibilities are endless. If you want to stick around to catch those videos, definitely join the Bicep Nicks fan by hitting the big red subscribe button down below and ringing the bell right next to it to get notifications of all my future videos. I honestly had so much fun putting this video together for you guys today, gathering up all my favorite tech products and telling you about them. I hope you got some value out of this, added some fun products to your cart and are excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy those new tech products. And as always, this is by Stuffy Dicks. Bye.